we're all spending a lot more time on video conference calls and live streaming. And it's gonna be important that you start to increase the quality of those video calls. So in this video, this is the first video in a series that I'm doing on how to improve your Zoom and uh, live streaming video quality. So let's jump in and talk about one quick tip today. Hello everyone, my name is Nick Polkowski and on this channel we talk all about live streaming and videography and how you can use that to grow your business. And in this video, we're gonna talk how to improve the quality of your webcam here for Zoom or Teams or any sort of conference calls as well as for live streaming. So right here, this right here you can see is uh, I am on my MacBook Pro and this is the video that you're getting from that in Zoom here. We're in Zoom right now. Uh, this is the video quality that you're seeing and, it, and it's not the greatest. Uh, this is a pretty new MacBook, um, but even some of the brand new ones don't have very good video quality. That's just something that wasn't built in. But now there is an app out there that I really recommend from Elgato uh, that will allow you to actually use your phone as your webcam, you can plug it in with a wire or you can go wirelessly uh, directly to your Mac or PC and be able to switch that out and use the back cameras here, which are really high quality cameras. The, uh, the iPhone especially has a great cameras, um, but you're gonna be able to use that as your webcam. So let's jump on over to that app. It's called Epoch Cam or something like that. And I have the pro version here so, I, so I'm able to do a few things. There's a free version that does come with like a watermark and a few other things and a few less features. Um, but there is a pro version that you can get uh, where you don't have to worry about any of that. And it's only like eight bucks. So it will be well worth it in the long run. But uh, right now I just opened that app here. And you can see this is the camera, um, I'm all connected, so we're gonna turn it sideways. And what I recommend would do, to do with this, you can see I'm still doing zoom right now, and let's go ahead and flip over. So right here we have our camera is facing out, you can kind of see the setup that I have there. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna switch zoom here. So as, as you can see, we're full screen zoom right now, uh, right here, and. All you have to do, you, have, you will have to install some. So in order to get this work, you will have to install something on your computer uh, as well as get the app. So I'll have a link in the description below uh, that goes directly to this app. Uh, it goes directly to the page with all the instructions on how to install it. Super simple. You just need to basically install the app on your phone and the app on your computer. And yes, there are other ones out there, but I really trust Elgato. They're a very reputable company. There is some, they're one that I uh, have several of their products. So I feel super confident uh, in installing uh, their app on both the phone and the computer and knowing that there's not gonna be any real main issues. Um, so I highly recommend going that route versus some other one that you might find out there uh, in the app store. So let's jump in on the computer here. We're in Zoom. We're gonna switch it from our built-in FaceTime uh, to the Epoch Cam. And there you go, you can see it kind of shifted over. But let's go ahead and let's go ahead and set this up how I would. Uh, I would also let, recommend that you get some sort of tripod and it can be a super cheap tripod. You can find tripods for very cheap nowadays uh, at Walmart or Best Buy or anything. Um, all you need is a little desk, desktop tripod. So I'm gonna set my tripod up here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera right in here, like so. And there you can see, uh, and there you can see that that's just a nice setup. You can sit right behind your computer and the quality is much better. So let's flip back and forth here. We're gonna show the Zoom recording and right now I am using Epoch Cam, uh, looking right directly at it. And then we're gonna switch to the, the built-in and there you can see just the quality difference in terms of the built-in camera versus uh, this app and using your iPhone's camera. Um, it's just night and day differences. It's really awesome. Uh, so you can see the quality there. And what I would recommend is, again, if you get a, a desktop tripod, try to have it adjustable so that it will go up even higher because ideally you want that camera to be directly at eye level and then you can talk right to your camera. It looks very natural, looks very professional. And there are a few settings that we can do on this as well. Um, part of the issues with the settings is you can only do that when you are looking at the camera but I highly recommend using the back camera here. Now I wanna run you through some of the settings here on uh, that app on Epoch Cam, just to kind of show you what you're able to do. So if you look here, you can actually fo lock the focus. So it's focusing, focus locked on the tripod. So now the tripod is in focus or I can shift it to, 
let's shift it close focus right here. So you can actually adjust the focus by, t by touching just specific spots, just like you would with your normal camera. Um, you can actually switch between which camera you're using. So there is the two times camera or the ultra wide camera, the 0.5 and then the wide. Generally, when you're gonna be on, um, depending on where you are able to place your tripod and everything like that, I'd, ha I'd recommend being on basically the wide camera. So the 1X versus uh, the ultra wide or even the zoom one. Um, but it's gonna depend on your setup and so you might have to adjust that as you're going. But then let's, you can actually flip the image. You can see here, I'll even show you on the screen, we're just flipping the images back and forth. Um, th this just helps ease of use. So you're, when you raise your right hand, it can look like you're raising your right hand down the screen and you don't see it backwards. So you're able to mirror the images. You are able to switch it around. And so we just switch it to the front facing camera. This is the selfie camera. Um, and even that is gonna be a little bit better than uh, your actual uh, laptop camera most times. So just keep, keep that in mind. You can do that easily. You also have a microphone option, so I can use this as the main microphone or not use that as my main microphone. And then they do have a green screen option. I don't necessarily re recommend the green screen option. You see that's not gonna be very good. You need a decent amount of light in order for that to work. Um, it's not something that I'm really gonna recommend. The other thing I do like is um, that it allows you to actually turn on the flash. So if you don't have a light source somewhere, you can just hit the flash button and you can see right there that the flash is on. So let's turn this back around, get this back on, set up. And you see right here, I have a little bit of extra light just kind of shining on me, which makes it look good. Let's pretend the flash is off. So you can see there's a little bit of difference uh, in terms of what it looks like. Um, but if you're in a dark area, the flash will work really well and you'll be able to see that this, um, it'll be able to add a little bit of extra light. Not gonna be as nice as having an extra external light, but definitely gonna be better than nothing if you're in a darker area. So there you go. I highly recommend it. Hit the link in the description. You'll find the Epoch Cam there. I highly recommend checking it out and be sure to uh, tap this playlist if you wanna learn more about how you can improve your video conference calls and your live streams. We're gonna be going through a full series on how to actually do that, so be sure to hit that, hit that playlist and check those videos out. And I'll see you in the next video.